But the reality is, a lot of people, if, if they knew, they'd fly here today because this is, this is about as good as it gets. I mean, North I guess we all just have to hunker down and enjoy the weather in North Texas once it becomes 105, feeling like 113, because we're not going to be able to fly anywhere, right? So 82 degrees in East Fort Worth right now. You've got some high, thin clouds. That's really just the main issue with the weather for today and most of tomorrow as well. We've got upper 70s and low 80s across North Texas. Next few hours, we kind of keep the low. 80s around with partly cloudy to partly sunny skies, but generally we're rain free. Now, tonight mostly cloudy and mild. Temperatures once again dropping into the low 60s, so it's a pretty comfortable start to the day. We should be very similar to tomorrow to where we're at today with just about an isolated shower chance, mainly along the Red River. I'll show you that in a second, but Thursday is kind of the day to watch for the potential of strong to severe storms. Now, here we are at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning on First Alert Future Cast. You've got an isolated storm out. Towards Young County, uh, and it weakens eventually, just becoming light showers for our Red River counties as we go through the afternoon. So, the one thing I'll say about tomorrow's forecast there may be a little bit more cloud cover the farther north you go, and there may be some isolated showers, but I'm not expecting severe weather. There could be some isolated storms out in West Texas, uh, but it's more as we get into Thursday that we're concerned about the weather in West Texas and what it does as it gets closer to us. So, we've got this level two slight risk for most of Parker and Wise County and then areas farther to the west. You see the level one marginal risk across North Texas. Large hail damaging winds will be the possibility with these stronger storms, but this level one marginal risk for the Metroplex storms are likely going to develop out in West Texas and weaken as they get closer to the 35 quarter. So here we are at 12 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday now with first alert future cast cloudy skies and you watch as we get into the afternoon. You start to see some isolated storms as a dry line moves in. But, you know, they're not really intensifying quite that much because we still have a decent cap in place. Now, the cap is expected to kind of work its way eroding away into the afternoon. And then as we get into the evening out towards Abilene, you start to see some storms developing. They move through parts of Comanche County, Erath, Hood County, Somerville County. Uh, but similar to the weather pattern that we had last week, with the instability not as great here as it is in Central Texas, at least this model kind of turns the storms a little to the right and brings them into Central Texas. So this weather alert, not everyone is going to see severe storms. Not everyone is even going to see stormy weather, but the possibility of some strong storms certainly there. And then you see the storm chances pretty much each and every day uh, for the rest of the week.